power amp protection? Okay. Steve in Lancashire, England asks the following question. Paul, I wonder what kind of protection PS Audio incorporates into their power amps. With solid state amplifiers, everything is fine, which is true, until a fault occurs, which can then pass DC through the voice coil and destroy the speaker. Protection schemes like DC detection with relay shutdown or a brutal, a brutal crowbar technique. Man, that sounds like something that a, a mafia guy would do. Give them the brutal crowbar technique and that'll turn them around and make them pay his bill. <laughs> Um, they're often used, but if you're connecting an amplifier to a set of speakers worth thousands of dollars, it's easy to become paranoid yeah, and start thinking in terms of using two or three schemes. Protection schemes. Hey, it's a protection racket. The, the problem is that the protection circuit can get more complicated than the power amp itself. Is PS Audio as paranoid as me? <laughs> With best wishes, Steve from England. Check out our little drone. I think I showed you this before. This is what we do our aerial videos are. You know, it's hard to imagine that today for, I don't know, what is this, five or six hundred bucks um, with a high def camera that today we can have drones that we can fly and they hover and they photograph things and then come back. I mean, that's like Buck Rogers kind of stuff from before, right? All right, protection, the interesting stuff. Yeah, well, protection is a big deal in power amplifiers. I remember years ago when we first produced the 200C amplifier. That had protection of one thing, a fuse at the output, a quick line fuse that if you drew too much current, it would blow the fuse and the sound would stop. Now that's not a um, catastrophic crowbar. What, and by the way, what he means by that is the catastrophic crowbar is, <laughs> it sounds awful, <laughs> this crowbar catastrophically across your head. Um, a, a crowbar circuit is like a big switch. <laughs> Boom, it just crowbars down and shorts it out and then <laughs> thing turns off. It's, it's an engineering term. We, we like to be colorful with our terms. So yeah, and that fuse worked great, but it was kind of a drag. I mean, if you hit too loud of a note or a big bang on the drum, the fuse would pop and then the channel would go dead. Then you'd have to search through and find the fuse, take, it, take the top cover off, pull it out. And, you know, it was a real pain in the butt. So over the years, we got fancier and fancier, as most companies have. And today, we have multiple protection schemes with PS Audio amplifiers. So let's take DC first. It's very rare that an amplifier will go, as we call it, DC. Not rogue, but DC. So when an amplifier goes DC, it means it puts out a certain level of direct current of battery voltage, right? And typically an amplifier, unless it's just damaged, will sometimes put out a little bit too much DC, and we're talking like, oh, a tenth of a volt or, you know, uh, something less than that. And that's not good for speakers. So we have monitoring circuits on all of our amplifiers that monitor for DC output, and it'll shut it off. We also have active servo systems. So if DC is coming on the amplifier circuit for whatever reason, temperature variations or whatever, the servo automatically corrects for it and there's no DC. So you combine the active servo system that makes sure there is no DC and should then, if, if something goes wrong, be DC. There's a DC protection circuit on the output that just shuts the amplifier down and puts a warning light on the front. Hey, you got DC. And then you're calling 800 PS Audio and saying, you know, I got, I, got a, I got a problem. Very rare. More common is what we would call overcurrent protection. And that's where if your speaker load is too low, the impedance drops too, too far, or you're trying to put too many 
watts out of the power amplifier into a, a specific load like a speaker to the point where it may damage the amplifier, it, 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 will, it will just shut the amplifier off and then our front panel logo starts blinking. And no, you don't have to go change a fuse. <laughs> All you have to do is go push the standby button and it turns back on and you're back in business. So yeah, we go to some great lengths to protect our amps from damage. And of course, the end goal is to make sure your speakers are never damaged. And I don't think we've had a problem damaging a speaker for a long time, decades. So yeah, no worries, but that's how we do it. All right. Thanks for the question. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.